Hi everyone, George Farmer here, content creator for Tropica Aquarium Plants. Welcome to this video where we will show you exactly how we transform this overgrown planted aquarium into something that's a little less chaotic. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Every week we release new videos on plant profiles and aquarium updates and tips, so ensure you have notifications turned on by clicking the bell icon next to the subscribe button. As you can see, the stem plants in this Awaze Style Line 125 have been left to grow excessively. The plants in question here are the bright green Hemianthus micranthamoides on the left and the red Ludwigia palustris to the right. You can see more details on these beautiful plants by watching their species spotlight profile videos, which are linked in the description and pinned comment. You can see that this excessive growth looks unattractive and messy, and such dense planting can potentially cause issues with circulation. Excess growth at the surface also blocks light from reaching the plants below. Over a longer period of time, this will result in poor plant growth of these plants, and a common consequence of poor plant growth is algae. So it's important that we maintain these plants from both a form and function perspective to keep the aquascape looking aesthetically pleasing and to keep the overall system healthy and free from nuisance algae. The first step is to trim back the main mass of Hemianthus stems with sharp aquascaping scissors. These have an S-bend, making them ideal for trimming most plants, including carpeting species. You can trim back quite hard, so don't worry too much about overdoing it. Most stems respond very well to trimming and soon produce new healthy shoots. This can result in an even higher plant density, so after some time it may be necessary to uproot and replant the healthiest stems. Next, we remove the cuttings from the surface and keep separately. These can now be replanted if desired, given away to fellow hobbyists, or discarded of responsibly. Remember to never allow aquatic plants to any natural waterways, otherwise they could become invasive. Now it's time to move on to the Ludwigia. We are going to trim this using a different technique by deliberately cutting off far down on some stems and not so much on the others. The longer stems that have been cut will be replanted later to help maintain some shape and plant biomass in the aquarium. This process takes longer than simply trimming back but the results are a lot more attractive. If we just trimmed all of the stems right back in one go, the aquascape would look a little unsightly and unnatural. After removing all the plant cuttings and debris with our hands and fishnet, we can begin to replant the healthiest trimmings of Ludwigia. These are inserted into our Tropica aquarium soil with aquascaping tweezers, or in some cases the stems can actually be placed in the main plant mass with the roots just suspended by the other stems. This relatively new technique is known as topping, and the stems will usually grow well given appropriate light, CA2 and nutrients. This is because they can obtain all of their required nutrients through their leaves and aerial roots. For this reason, dosing a good quality liquid fertiliser, such as Tropica Specialised Nutrition, is necessary to ensure the plants are sufficiently fed. Our last job today is to perform a 50% water change. This helps to remove any waste organics that have been produced during the maintenance process. We encourage a 25% weekly water change for most systems as a minimum to help reduce the risk of algae and to help keep the system healthy and fresh. So there we have our maintained planted aquarium, looking good after a good stem plant trimming session. Let us know if you have any stem trimming tips in the comments and would you like to see any changes in this aquarium? Maybe it's time to add some fish. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.